A very good evening and another big game coming up in the My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League Jaffna Stallions versus Gaul Gladiators and I can tell you that these are two very well matched sides lots of all-rounders and the toss happened a little while ago and Gaul Gladiators had no hesitation in batting first options that's a look at the Gaul Gladiators side Kundatilaka at the top Walton and Rajapaksa, Freddy, and good bowling lineup as well. So, plenty of balance and options for the Gold Gladiators. But also, so are the Jaffna Stallions. Very well balanced, I must say. Some really big names, some match winners. And I can promise you, it's going to be an another brilliant game of cricket. My 11 circle, Lanka Premier League, day two, game two. Jaffna Stallions versus Gold Gladiators. Straight away a bit of movement. Could be Fernando. Runs here, punched off the back foot. The first sign of aggression. And that is a my 11 circle champion shot to start off. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a disappointing ball. And you kind of look at it in his run up. He's, there was a little bit of a stutter. He decelerated into the crease there and he was always going to drag it down and that gave Danushka Gunatalaka an overseas player. Well, that's another My 11 circle champion shot. The second boundary for Danushka Gunatilaka. And the one thing you don't want to do to Danushka Gunatilaka is give him wood. The minute he gets wood, you're coming into his area. Benura bowled that over particularly well because he, apart from the ball that he cut for four, Everything else came and tracked back into his body. But Nuraz Danajaya missed actually. Four more. Don't bowl on the pads. You can't have a strong offside feel and go there, going round the wicket, the angle down the leg side. Just easy pickings for Danushka Gunatilaka. This was exactly what we spoke about earlier, um, Darren and Rashan. The, the, the fact around that he's gone away from what his kind of strength is. You don't want to give him too much width, but it's a fine line. You want to be hitting the top of all stump. It oh, you're talking about a wicket. And that's exactly what happens. Wanidu Hasaranga, the catcher, and Oliver breaks through. Yeah, that, was, that looked just a little bit of extra pace there, just short of a length and going to a really good fielder. You can have a look, Olafia banging it in, short, extra bit of pace, extra bit of bounce, good control there from Hasaranga, nice and still watching it into his hands. Maybe cut the ball. Swung away on the onside, that is definitely a my 11 circle champion shot. Great shot, Danushka Gunatalaka. Um, again, he, the thing about Danushka, his strengths are when the ball's wide, he drives beautifully through the offside. And what makes him an international cricketer, in my view, is the fact that he plays the short ball well. And you have to play the short ball well as an opening batsman in international cricket. Now the pick if they're not. Pass point. That's another boundary. Well... Finally, Danushka Gunatilaka seemed to be just getting into his rhythm. I think the gladiators needed that. My 11 circle, champion shot yet again. Make it number six for Gunatilaka. He's been exceptional despite having lost his opening partner, Chad. Very well bowled. He's off the mark. Azam Khan. You were talking about what a strong player he is and is that a glimpse of what to expect? That's a glimpse of what, he, what you can expect. He, he, he doesn't mess around. He doesn't hang around Azim Khan. You give him, you give him any scoring opportunity, he's going to take it. He's a dangerous, dangerous player. Uh, uh, Jaffna will be happy when they see the back of him because he can... Ranga Lakmal who hails from this part of the world, the deep south. Leg side, whipped away and that's gone for four. Final leg was inside the circle, that brings up the 50. Yeah, without taking too many chances. Gladiators have managed to get to 50. In the pub. Hey! Bowled him. That is terrific. So suddenly, the leg spinner is in the game. That is a big wicket. It's a really good over. A couple of good overs being strung together. And that is the difference it makes.
That's what I was trying to say too, Hazy. 11 balls, just the five singles. And the batsman, well, he tried this shot before. He missed it. Oh, how about that? Glove onto bat, onto stump. Has the glove and on the middle of the bat. That's a beautiful shot. That is magnificent. That's right over the top, and that is gone. That is gone for six runs. What a superb knock that is. Easy as you like. Effortless. Just time the ball. Hammer down the ground. And a fumble. My God. It's not going well in the outfield. Sloppy is a word. Should have been stopped. Shoy Malik. Again, the slower ball. Just hammered it, looking to power it. Unity. That's it. Finds the field at this time. Makes no mistake. And they're celebrating already. A wicket again. Number three. And the man who was going along nicely, Azam Khan, walks back. The fielder in the deep just didn't move. Flat battered Malik. Nice use of the feet. And a really good option and area to strike a boundary. A mile 11 circle champion shot, if ever there was one. And at the right time. The stranglehold was on. Shoi Malik. First ball in his spell. You put the pressure on him. And again. Bit of deja vu. Nice use of the feet. He's taking the attack to Malik now. And he's taking the right options. The left-hander, Raja Paksa. Realized that the offspan. Clipped away. Finds the fielder. It was uh, going very fast, but he held on. He starts a spell and he picks up a wicket. Captain's dream. So unlucky. So unlucky, Banu Karaja Paksa. He picked it up nicely. Flick of the wrist. That was traveling. It was flat, hard. But then. To get to that 170 mark. That's a nicely strike. Has it gone straight to the fielder? It has. We've got to go straight back upstairs to the commentators. Woo! The reward and uh, finds the fielder. It's turning out to be a cancer wicket stumbling now. Well, both the packs were caught out. The idea was right to hit the ball in the air. Oh, that's fine. Not too far away from those gloves, but it's a boundary. Brings up the hundred. That's what I need. Boundaries. Afridi's got it. Boundaries here to give him any chance whatsoever. That's my call. Yeah, it is. A batting with him, though, Shian Jay Saria can bat as well. So this is a crucial partnership for these guys. These guys will score, and they'll score quick. Uh, on coming in next. There's one on strike now that I'm sure you'll be keen to have. That's gone fine, and that's four. But Nuru's bowled really well. His, his, his lengths have been good. The only thing I will say with that is he's kind of telegraphed that now. He's gone back of a length, back of a length, and clearly the, the game plan to Afridi is short and, and this one he just leans back and we can there you go he's got that over the top and that is for one bounce and a boundary that is a my 11 circle champion shot that was kind of telegraphed if really knew that by the field by them bringing square leg up into the circle and it, it, he knew that it was going to be a win it allowed him to free his arm that's gone high That's what they need. Well, we're talking about the fact that the way to go with our 3D is the short ball. Um, just talk us through that. Yeah. The way to go is what they've done though is 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 you've got to make back live now. It's gone again, and he's got himself six more runs. Our 3D is turning it on here. Well, well, well. Look at Upul Chandra. He's enjoying it. <laughs> he is enjoying it again. Again, telegraphed. You know, he, he, he's bowled a duck the ball before. This ball, you want to, you want to try and get that. Just get your lens. You want to try and get the ball through to Tom Moore's at the keeper. That guys are going to keep nice and 
controlled if they can. That's six runs. That is terrific. This is really good stuff. This is what everyone likes to see. Boom Boom Afridi in fine style at the moment. As I said uh, earlier, Hazy, with the pregame shows like Benjamin Button. He just gets younger and younger instead of everybody getting older and older. He's like a re good red wine. But again, what? A strike rate of 222. Full toss this time. Webs that away, and he's picked up six more. That's gone a long way. That is a terrific strike. Well, you're talking about a 70-yard boundary. That was a good 90 yards. That went a big distance. Yeah, and suddenly that 160 you were talking about, Rashan, is is certainly, certainly very reachable. They one one would say if these He's underneath that one. Has he gone far enough? Yep, six more. That's three sixths in a row. Brings up 50 as well for Afridi. This is outstanding stuff from Afridi. That is an unbelievable knock. The key to his to his batting has he, he was still, he's just standing still at the crease and allowing the bat and his hands to take over. Phenomenal batting. Absolutely, we were just talking about how focused and how organized the Jaffna Stallions look. So they, they do have some some guys in hand. It's gone again, it's gone again, six more. You, you reckon this guy had enough practice, Afridi? Afridi, he was playing in the in the PSL, so he, he would have had some practice leading into this. He's referring to got him this time a little bit of a tickle outside edge there's not too many you know, a couple of words there I think from Duane Olafia if you can lip read I think that summed it up perfectly and that's just the frustrations that happen uh, that that the fair play award not not, not so sure about that for Jack Stallions. yeah squad him up that has gone high how far has it gone far enough yeah that's gone far enough that's what Xi'an Jaisaria can do. He's a, he's a very, very versatile cricketer. Fields, bowls a little offspin and can bat. I did see him play in Pakistan in that white ball. This has gone high. This is really high. Pereira. In fact, it's the wicket keeper. So the Jaffna Stallions have got another one. Now that was of the last ball. Mohamed Amir, the batsman, dismissed. 166 for seven. Looking for the uh, the maximum, of course, as he was trying to do at this stage. Fortunately, got right underneath that, and it was Moores who uh, got underneath it. And loud call from him, which made oh, that's solid. That is a very good shot. Solid stuff. Perfect. Really perfect. This is what the gold gladiators need, and that's why he needed to get back on strike. Previous ball running, running a bar through to the keeper. Yeah, there was this element of risk. He could have been run out at the striker's end, but... Uh, any difference in it? Ah, well, boy, the leading done. edge. At the moment, they've actually got a, a, a cloth with them. That's gone for a wide, and it's going to go for four as well. A lot of benefits for the Stallions with that one. Not only is there five runs, that ball's going to come back wet. Akhila Dananje is trying a few different things. This time, the hand... Door. Just works it into the onside. That's running away for four. My 11 circle. Champion shot indeed. What timing. The length was there. He got into a good position. He was well balanced in the crease. Sure. So that pretty well. He's got underneath it as well. And it's one bouncing on for four. Good usage of the feet. Paduka wasn't afraid to uh, come down the track, go to the pitch. Underneath that one. That's going all the way for six. That is a beautiful shot. And just hitting through the line. Very good from Minot Banuka. And straight away they've caught up with the previous over. So you can do it in T20 cricket. Even though it's a short. Well, that's fine. That's wide. It is wide. I thought He's there might have been something on that, but no, it just slid down the leg side and went for four. No chance for the keeper. It swung that much. Asita Fernando, Lahiru Kumar, you've heard of. 
rolling the same under 19 team that represented Sri Lanka not too long ago, Abhishekov. And those regions right at the top. That's gone for six. That is a very good shot indeed. Picked it up superbly. You know, Banuka. Will be mentioned that he was showing respect to Mohamed Amir. Well, what respect? Look at that. They just played with well, no fear. Well, I like that. They're very confident. Extremely confident. Up goes the finger. That's why. Slower delivery. Minot Banuka again trying to flick it onto the onside and he perishes. That was a good catch. Rarely carried. But Azam Khan just able to get underneath it. And just as the, the Jaffna Stallions were trying to make a move, Amir strikes. That's what you expect, expect from Ma Mohamed Amir. Use it. Our poor delivery. Ill-directed delivery. Easy pickings. All a batsman had to do was just help the ball on its way. He dropped his arm and fired that in. Tom was. Yeah, that's a welcome delivery. You'd like one of those early in your. In Squeeze that away as well. That's very impressive. That's another very good shot indeed. That's a my 11 circle champion shot. Initially, he was uh, looking to play that delivery towards extra cover thought it's too close to him open the face of the bat and placed it beautifully for to recover we got plenty of batsmen to come through there you go there's another six flying over the boundary I think we should be able to make this uh, comfortably what's the experience been with the Lanka Premier League for you and um, uh, the rest of the owners of uh, the stallions the Lanka Premier League coming through this year in spite academy so that we can give the children a chance to train and hone in their skills and one day establish a Jaffna cricket club a professional club that could play in the Sri Lankan league well the boys have started making a move thanks for your time and good luck to you and your plans going forward thank you very much it's great to be here well isn't it what they're planning to do and this is big but has it gone long enough it's gone high and oh he's taken it off reading can you keep him out of the game i'm just thinking all those fantasy points we'll be we'll, we'll be getting you're right mickey he is like salt in the midst of everything shied of really the captain of this uh ball gladiators team maybe a bit of uh, miscommunication but all is well that ends well captain of freedy safe pair of hands accounting for another wicket number two the track gone straight over the bowler's head abishka fernando for you mickey there he goes there he goes i told you he just needs to get a little bit of flow he can play abishka fernando and he hasn't panicked and that's what i like he'll be learning from shaib malik and hopefully he ta he he'll take his clean strike and goes all the way that's a good shot good result as well Jaffna Stallions they are playing some intelligent cricket they are denying their wicket taking options and whenever you get the opportunity you go after the baller like this what a hit that was great really great to see Avishka Fernando's full repertoire now at the start we did see him struggle a little bit against spin but now you could see that he's looking so and down the ground how far has it gone i think it's gone far enough that's another one abishka fernando is warming up beautifully oh hit the ball flat flatter than far in fact and that's his 50. what a way to get to his 50. showing his skills Five sixes in the innings so far for Fernando. So you guys know. It's always a renewed pleasure to be back in Sri Lanka. As another boundary has been hit. That's my 11 circle. Champion boundary. And that was a no ball too. Oh, that's terrible. 
That's terrible. Now that is a bad mistake. You cannot afford to do that. The captain should have been mindful. The 50 partnership. How could you play with one fielder short in the circle? It happened in the first match as well. So teams uh, should have been watching, should have learned from that mistake when the Colombo Kings took on the Candy Tuskers. Again, the awareness, the presence of mind, very good from Fernando. I think he knew it all the time. He knew it all the time. And that's why he immediately pointed to that. What will it be? Free hit now. Very well bowled. Yorker on point. Nice use of the pace. Good awareness to guess this one past the keeper. And he does it nicely. Yeah, he moved outside the line of that delivery to be able to execute that stroke. Moving nicely in his crease now. Wide, four runs, five runs on the board. Now look at Shida Freedy's reaction. What is he complaining about? I just saw him <laughs> saying something. Is he, is he complaining to the keeper that he couldn't stop it? Again, I just feel that the grip and the challenge of gripping the ball. Nice and fine. Two bounces in the end and it goes for four. The, the, the thing that can't be overstated enough is is, is Ivishka Fernando's innings tonight. And, and I know we, we spoke about it just before that ball, um, Russ. He didn't panic. He, he got off to a slowish start. He always oh, clubbed that and that's gone for six. They just keep hitting these boundaries. Some of them have been really big as well. That's what's really helped their cause throughout this innings. And that's a shot. I, I know how much Ivishka Fernando has worked on his game. He's worked on his... Solid. There is a sweeper. He's not there though. That's a beautiful stroke. First round to Shoaib Malik. My 11 circle champion shot from a true champion. Partnership up to 98 as well. There were fielders in the deep. The white. There you go. You called it, making all the way she goes into the 90s. Goes Avishka Fernando. Two required for the Jaffna Stallions. It's been a smart chase. It's been a very, very smart chase. Hats off Avishka Fernando. This is very mature and very, very good. There it is. That is a very good performance. They have played superb with the Jaffna Stallions. They win by eight wickets. It is a really good, solid performance from a very organized team.